Yeah, everything's under control. We're, as you said, only a few days away. Um, some of the main stars start arriving from this weekend, so we're looking forward to welcoming them at the Nandi International Airport, bringing them down to the Shangri-La Yanuda Island Resort in uh, Luvu, and then start the process of getting them ready for game day. Uh, ambassadors coming in on uh, Tuesday with Dan Norton, and then all the teams, I guess, start arriving into Singatoka in, as a general, uh, and then we have our Pluck unveiling with the Walk of Fame with the two ambassadors, so Gordon Titchens and Dan Norton, which we'll love to see everyone come out and then uh, be a part of that special moment in history. One of the things that we're, we're very mindful of is that we're, we've wanted to build a house that stands for a long time, so we've started with a strong foundation, and that foundation is the partnership we form with the, the players. Uh, we really focus on, we're a bit player centric in terms of what we're doing. Uh, and that includes obviously the ambassadors over the years and the participants, the players that come through, men, youth, women's. Uh, so they become our, our ambassadors. They go and tell, spread the word around the, spread the word around the world. You know, playing in different tournaments and, and obviously around Fiji. Uh, focus on quality uh, in terms of refereeing. You know, only the best we want to be officiating. Um, the administration team, we get a lot of volunteers, not only from Fiji but around the world that come to be a part of it. And of course the sponsors, you know, the, they make it possible. So each year we just looked at a different, um, a different element to the tournament and obviously this year it's the McDonald's Ambassador All-Star Team which has been selected by our former ambassadors. It's a, quite a, a unique element to the tournament and it's got high praise from all around the world. Following the debrief from the 2023 tournament, we just thought uh, we started talking, and then I had this uh, this idea of trying to keep the connection to our ambassadors because you know they come once and then they go away. We like to keep that living link. So the idea was to um, create this uh, all-star team where the, they would select a player to represent them in the team because obviously a condition of being an ambassador is that you're now retired. So we don't get to see them grace the field at Lawanga Park, so maybe this is the next best thing. They get to select someone to play for them. And based on the, the feedback and the response this year, I think it'll be a, a, a definitely uh, included moving forward. We're going to have 16 of the best teams participating. Obviously with the New Zealand development side, that'll be interesting how they fare against some of the, the best teams in Fiji. Um, there's obviously storylines involving uh, Serevi's involvement with Tama Dumbo up against in the in the pool games against the Fiji Bubbers. There's, I'm sure there'll be an interesting clash there. Um, and obviously the McDonald's Ambassador All-Stars will play the uh, New Zealand side in the first game of the, of the pool stage. So lots to look out for. Um, whoever is crowned champion at the end of it will be certainly deserved. And that's true of the youth division and obviously the women's division.